tell you this. When he, when he cursed and did the jumping in the air, yeah. he actually jumped. Yeah. And on the video I saw, I'll be honest, he did show some stage presence. I liked it. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. I did. You want to hear uh, his jokes about... He wore an Opie and Anthony t-shirt to the stage. Okay. So he talked about being an intern. Okay. Let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> it's not all it's cracked up to me. Opie and Anthony. Anyway, I actually, Agent brings up a good point. I interned for a little show called... He said the words Opie and Anthony, and that's the good point. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I will put him on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I can actually uh, put calls on hold. Anyway, and take him I there, by actually, the way. Agent brings up. Yeah. Just saying that. Go ahead. A good point. I interned for a little show called The Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah. My name was Love Buzz. I don't know if you've ever listened. <laughs> oh, anyway. How many people is, were there? This is a bad territory. It was now. about 14 people. Yeah. What, was, what is this called? Ollie's it's Point? It's called Ollie's Point. And how many of them knew who Love Buzz was? There was actually a guy who noticed my Opie and Anthony shirt, and yeah. he said I looked familiar. Where Where was this? Uh, where's Ollie's you Point? It's in Amityville, yeah. New York. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. Your, your, your comedy here? Yeah. Amityville Horror. Oh. Hey, oh, hold Thank on. You. Hold on. Hold on. You're called, your stand-up is so bad, it's like a horror movie in Adamsville. I'm Russ Limbaugh. Good night. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Well, anyway, I went from the Opie and Anthony show to Ali's Point, which is good. I woke up this morning, it's like, my life sucks. I used to be something cool. People, people would tweet me. Hey man, I heard you on the show, you were great, but now I'm at Ollie's. It's I like fine. that voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the every man's voice. Hey man! Hey man! You also, you didn't, uh, you didn't have a punchline. No. <laughs> just, you're just working on the setups I, right now? I didn't, see, I went to see my friend. I like and it And then though. after he did it, I was like, fuck it, I'll do it too. Right. So I didn't get ready for it or anything. I like that's, that. That's what makes it good, the non-punchlines. I like it. There's something about it I like. <laughs> well, you want to hear his story about almost raping a girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah, bit yeah, of a yeah. shock comic, huh? Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, I don't see it. I don't see that shocking, though. I don't want people to go crazy, but I may or may not have raped a girl once. <laughs> he may not have raped her, Sam. <laughs> Maybe That's not. That's the point. So before you fucking jump down Joe's throat. It's Love Buzz. Yeah. Oh, okay. Joe is the other guy who called in. Whoever. I don't remember anybody. <laughs> I had a girlfriend about a year ago. She was very kinky. The first time we ever had sex. That's funny. Yeah. It's... You had a girlfriend? I did. What? I... Yeah. I thought I that's the... You. No, I told you. I thought that was the joke. Oh. No, that wasn't the joke. I was just explaining. Oh, this yeah, is the setup. setup. I thought setup. this is the yeah. punchline. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to tell you, for all you football fans right here, Love Buzz to me looks like a young Mark Bavaro. We'll just leave it at that. Had sex, she said, I just got you to punch me. <laughs> That's the you girl. You want me to yeah. punch you? Yeah. And make sure mm -hmm. you call me cunt. It's either the girl or the other beastie boy. <laughs> no, it's a girl. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bob Buzz. <laughs> yeah. I, I just want that. you to call me a cunt, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, lower your taxes. It's the rest of them, Bob. Now, I've learned from women, you shouldn't call, you shouldn't call them cunts. But she wanted me to punch them and call her a cunt. Which is everything. You should try to say that word more. Yeah. Do you That's know what that I knew they, was... they say you shouldn't, you know, like repeat the, the, the word a bunch of times. I realized um, this isn't working out. And I got, <laughs> got really nervous and the lights got brighter and I got just. That's good. Maybe you were having a stroke. I don't think I was having a stroke. Were you uh, in Spring Lake, New wish. Jersey today? No, I wasn't. Okay. <laughs> or a cunt, which is everything my dad told me not to do. <laughs> Anyway, I was punching her. <laughs> <laughs> See how I waited for the laugh? That that was nothing great. happened. That was genuine. Like, he set it up. Yeah. He thought, this Here's is the, the punch. space. There's a space here. People are going to go nuts. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing. I, this if, was, if I was there, I would have been laughing at that precise moment. I would have been your biggest fucking fan. <laughs> Davy Mac got more at his dad's 70th birthday party than Love Buzz That's got on that joke. Fantastic. I was punching her. I was calling her cunt. Oh, good. There are people leaving. Bye, guys. Good to acknowledge that there are people leaving. Yeah. I, I just felt like they should have the spotlight, too. We'll share it with them. <laughs> right. You're silly, huh? Yeah. You're fat, man! <laughs> You're the fattest man in North Babylon. I've been waiting for so long to see.
say that. Was it worth it? Was it worth the wait? He actually threatened me over Facebook just for days straight. Well, after waiting for so long to say that Matt is the fattest man in North Babylon. He probably was, though. He is. On he's love, very fat. On Love Buzz's side, he's, he, he's a fucking fat idiot. But yeah. after waiting all that time to finally get it out, was it worth it? It was like a weight just right off my shoulder. Then why did you point to your chest just now? <laughs> I went down, started from the shoulder. You didn't start from the shoulder, you started the chest. All right, so <laughs> made a little, a little. This mistake. is dedicated to Matt. I have something dedicated. I just wrote a new book. <laughs> Russell Limbaugh's a big fat idiot. I'm Russell Limbaugh. Good night. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, punching her in the face, calling her cunt. Yeah, I was punching her, calling her cunt. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> and then. We were broken up and we had breakup sex. We were broken up. But yeah. we were about to have breakup sex. Whenever she would say no when we we're going out, it would mean keep on fucking. Well, I did that after the sex. She said no. I proceeded to rub her pussy. And no meant no this time. And I didn't know that. Stop it. Stop it right now. Sounds like a court statement now that I listen to it. This is the fucking stand up from a Bukowski novel. Like, this is just like fucking people. No one is sitting together. They're just put, drinking the <laughs> bottom of their glass, and some weird fucking stand-up is telling just the w most random jokes. I, my friend, would have loved to have been at this fucking stand-up. <laughs> you love this routine. I do. You don't need punchlines. Nope. <laughs> just we just need bizarreness. I like this, this is just stuff. a bizarre thing. He's rubbing her pussy. He made me chuckle. So for some <laughs> well, because it's. Over the top, vulgar, and uh, there's no reason. It's vulgar for vulgarity's sake. Okay, I'd laughed at it, but I'm also the guy who laughed at Fast Freddy challenging someone to a match. You just <laughs> and I have not slept or gotten a nap in a long, long time. Not Twelve hours at this a point. Long time. Her <laughs> pussy, and no meant no this time, and I didn't know that. Yeah. Did you did you realize that? Your punchline was that you had attempted rape. <laughs> yeah, I realized that at that moment. You, no man know this time. <laughs> like I was sitting there listening to this, thinking, "Okay, this is a pretty good setup. This could be a real joke." And then at the end, you said she actually wanted me to stop, and I didn't. That's a horrible thing. Well, I did stop, but during the joke, I decided. Then Why I don't I just her. go on? Here's That's his... what makes it funny. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Here's his next punchline. Then I dumped her. I dumped her over in Montauk. <laughs> and, uh, well, I've been indicted. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you pursue this, love buzz? But here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. Because... Stand-up comedy is a difficult thing to do. No way. What you have not, to do... Not after what he's shown. <laughs> well, he's a you're fucking right. first-timer with hitting four grand slams in the same game. It's very easy to do. It's a difficult thing to do well. And oh, to, and okay. to yeah. actually have a good reaction. You didn't specify I didn't. it. <laughs> what, have you ever thought about writing? I write. Before I going write. on stage? Yeah. Like but, actually writing jokes and then going on yeah, stage. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to do the stand-up. I just thought, why don't I just try this out? Have you written any jokes since then? I haven't written any jokes. Why? Did that you like the shit out of me. Did it you was... like being on stage in front of people? It was nice. Actually, he wrote, I have a copy of his one joke that he wrote. Oh, good, good, good. It says, you um, found it? Yeah. It says, I want to kill my parents. Oh, that's it. I that's the whole, mom. that's I actually kind of funny. Them. I like that, Love Buzz. <laughs> it's a little edgy. I like that. Why not? If you liked it up there, you like the attention, you like yeah. being in the spotlight. Why, you, why wouldn't you write a joke? I should start doing that. <laughs> that's good advice, right? So you yeah. thought you were going to be like a little Robin Williams and just yeah, improv? Thought... That's that's a really tough thing to do. And people shit on Robin Williams all the time, but he people forgot to improv and be even 50% funny the way he is. That's very tough, you know? He doesn't improv. He does improv. Well, he used to back in the day. He I mean, he gets accused of stealing from people. He, come on, what the fuck? By who? Robin Williams is one of the most notorious joke thieves there is. <laughs> not, come on. not only does he not don't improv, listen. he don't, steals jokes. Don't, 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 don't listen to what there's everyone There's a story at the comics, uh, comedy store where uh, they flash the light for two people, and it means that Carlos Mencia and Robin Williams are in the back recording you.
Okay, oh, well, that's, okay. This is what that's the fuck? Uh, You think that might be not true, Jared? Is not there any possibility? I'm, I'm going to go to line three just because of that. Uh, 708 area code. What's your name and where are you calling from? You. I can he, hear he's you. He's there. He's there. You're breathing. You're on the air. You I had, feel a little nervous. You had to fuck nah, us. You know, you're nervous like you. Yeah. Can you hear us? Sit 434 okay. area code. To, What's your name sure. and where are you from? Yeah, just smoking some pot, listening to Sam and Dave. <laughs> Let's do it, baby. <laughs> Let's fuck. Hey, get... man, Dave, you're a legend, man. So are you, brother. All right. Hey, listen, can you bring back uh, Guy Gyerson, man? Come on, dude. What? Guy Gyerson's coming up in fucking five minutes. <laughs> you're the legend, baby. You got it, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, well, uh, we really missed those calls. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, so I did not know this about Robin Williams. Yeah, he's a joke thief. I, I, I refuse to believe it. Uh, Why don't you just type in Google Robin Williams steals jokes okay, and now, see all the all the things you come up with. What's the name of the website? Just type in the. No, I mean Google. <laughs> yeah, Google dot com. It's with two O's. Okay. Um, Love Buzz. What well, what's stopping you from performing again? I think I think it was laziness most of the time, and just I guess it's fear. I think it's laziness. I think it's more yeah. laziness than fear. I think a lot of people use fear to disguise their laziness. It is scary. Yeah, I know it's scary, yeah. but if you weren't so lazy, you'd just man <laughs> up and do it. Right? You know what? I'm going to do it You now. did it once. It's not supposed to be scary anymore. Let me tell you something, young man. You demand. Okay? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and I, me and Robin Williams saw your set. Really? And trust me, yes. And there's going to be girls being raped all <laughs> yes. over. Yes, Robin Williams has these points. Robin Williams has some new ideas for jokes. <laughs> and there's just girls being killed yeah. in fucking Long Island or wherever the fucking he is, Amityville. I don't even know. I mean, <laughs> comedians do the same set over and over again to perfect it. Yeah. Oh, uh, you just figured why right? Hold on. <laughs> is that another one of your crazy Robin Williams theories? <laughs> no. Comedians that's... just do the same set over and over again. That's okay. A, that's a known. All right. Whatever. If you go to comedy shows, you see the same one. Do I have to Google that now? Comedy shows. <laughs> yeah, Google comedy shows. <laughs> Jared. Yes, Sam. I think three or four weeks ago. Yes. I gave you the task of coming up with a stand-up routine. Yes, and I did. Why do you think I did that? Um, because I kept uh, asking you about doing a stand-up show. Because I wanted you to compete with Love Buzz. Nice. In your own. Jared, Jared kept saying, hey, let's Excuse have uh, stand-up comedians who aren't famous come into the studio. Uh, and I go, yeah. Jared, this is New York City. Everybody is a stand-up comedian. That's right. All, the, all, all you have to do, I mean, people quit radio shows and just become stand-up comedians. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right, baby. But, Jared, you see what happens? We bring in Love Buzz. This is an amateur stand-up comedian, right? Yes. Did you hear that? Yes. It's horrible. Oh, it's hysterical. You liked it? <laughs> oh, yeah. You thought that was funny? Oh, yeah. And that sort of made it seem like, hey, I'm Jared. I have good ideas. <laughs> he also doesn't understand the point of a feud. I see. I see. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's the heel, so well, I'll be the heel, too. <laughs> but I ask you this. I know nothing about a good radio bit. I ask you this, Dave. When have you ever... Ever in the history of this show, lobbed a softball to Jared and have anything no, it's but a strike. <laughs> never strike three, you're out. three you're you're out. You've never seen him connect. Not even fucking tip the ball. He's the only guy who strikes he, out in one pitch. He he asked you. You're supposed to, no. It sucked. I'm better. Do you think? Oh, I am better. But do you think? Oh wow. Do you think that maybe I only asked you to do it because I wanted you to compete with Love Buzz? <laughs> oh no, I thought you just wanted me to bomb. No, that's not right. true. What would be the point? Let me tell you something right here, Samuel, because yeah. what you're not privy to is what the Dave man is privy to. Why, Jared doesn't like me? <clears throat> no, I love Sam. <laughs> Bullshit. You... <laughs> yeah, I think so, Dave. <laughs> Trust me. I have some car ride stories on the way home to tell you, Sammy. <laughs> I love hearing about them. Um, four or five weeks ago, mm -hmm. I was uh, at my friend's house. <laughs> This was the same night where we uh, covered a song called Wild Horses, which you could see on my Twitter account. Anyway, at this event, uh, we decided we wanted some marijuana. We called up Jared and we said, Jared, please come down, even though it was closing in at 1 o'clock in the morning and he's about an hour away. And if he had said, I can't, what would you have said? Come on down. You Otherwise, have to. you're going to be killed. Like a girl in one of Love Buzz's routines. Gotcha. <laughs> so he Still came alive. down, and we were so fucked up and just and everything. And he did a stand-up set. 
Slade. That was your practice? Uh, that was one of my practice. He so, slayed. Did you go to how many clubs did you?